Look at this soft, beautiful, squishy baby blanket. It is made with the brioche honeycomb stitch and it is so easy to do. So let's learn how to make this beautiful blanket together. Hello and welcome to Jack Knits. Um, today we are going to look at a new stitch called the brioche honeycomb stitch. It results in a really soft, um, thick, and very squishy um, fabric. It will make a great baby blanket. Um, I made this into a beautiful baby blanket. It's really almost more of a, like a baby mat because it's so thick. It would be a perfect blanket for to put on the floor um, for baby playtime. Um, if you'd like the full description and pattern uh, for this baby blanket, I will have a link to that pattern in my description below. Um, so let's take a look at uh, the materials that I use for this. Um, for the yarn, I used a Bernat uh, Softy Chunky Yarn. It is a super bulky weight yarn, classified as a six here. The color is gray rag, and I think I just bought this at Joann's. So it's just a, a really nice, thick, bulky yarn to use for this nice, thick, bulky stitch. For the needle, I used a US size 11 needle. And for the blanket, you're going to want to use a long circular needle uh, to do this project with because there are going to be a lot of stitches on your needle. I think for the blanket, I cast it on 66 stitches. For this um, tutorial, I just did 20 just for a sample to show you the stitch. But if you knit a full blanket, you're going to certainly want a long circular needle so it can hold all of your stitches. Okay, so let's take a look at the pattern. When you set up your stitch pattern, you're gonna start with the first two rows of just plain knitting. So row one, all knit. Row two, all knit. So that's kind of your setup two rows. And then we're gonna get into the four row repeat that will produce this pretty stitch pattern. So let's take a look at row number one. Through row number one, we're gonna start with the basic knit stitch, so just knit your very first stitch. Now your second stitch is could possibly be a new stitch for you and I'll, I'll explain it. It's called the knit one below and what we're going to do for that stitch is instead of knitting into your stitch right at the top of your needle here, you're going to look for this gap in your stitch uh, in your knitting directly below that stitch. So if I pull that apart, see this nice big hole right here? That is where you're going to want to insert your needle pick up your yarn and pull that yarn through that gap in that stitch below and pull it off your needle. We'll look at that again, but the very next stitch is now going to be a knit stitch. So that's your two stitch repeat, knitting one and then knitting one below. So let's do that knit one below again. Look for that big gap underneath that first stitch. Stick your needle in there and knit through that hole instead, and then knit again. Okay, and then knit below. So it's that, that two stitch repeat we're gonna do all the way to the end of our row. After row one, we will turn it over and begin row number two. Now row number two also has a new stitch that you may not be familiar with. It's called the Lifted Knit Stitch. It's abbreviated L, uh, LK. And we're gonna start with that stitch and it's a little difficult to see what's, what you have to pick up for this first stitch, but hopefully when we knit subsequent stitches, it'll become much more clear. But with that, this very first stitch, what we want to do is kind of untuck this strand that you see here. Untuck it from this loop. Because this is the strand we want to lift up. This one right here. There it comes loose. So that strand, this top strand here, see that yarn? I want to pick that strand up with my right hand needle and stick my needle in my 
next stitch as if I'm going to knit and then knit those two strands together and slip it off your needle. All right, we'll look at that uh, several more times here. But our very next stitch is going to be just a basic knit stitch. So knit. Okay, now let's look at that knitted, lifted knit stitch again. This time it's a little bit easier to see. We're going to tilt our knitting. See that these two strands, you got one down here and one up here. It's this top strand we want to pick up with our needle, untuck it, because it's usually tucked under that a little bit, lift it up, knit it along with that next stitch, pull it through and pull it off, and then a knit stitch again. Again, let's look at those, see those two strands? This top one, that's the ticket right there, and knit it with your next stitch. Knit, lifted knit again. There we go, that's what we want. Knit it together and knit. All right, let's do that all the way to the end of our row. That two knit stitch sequence. So now you've completed your first two rows. That's the hardest part. Row three and row four are really just kind of a repeat of row one and two, but we're just changing the order of our stitches. So let's start row three. Row three, instead of starting with a knit stitch, we're going to start with a knit one below. So let's find that gap underneath below or underneath that stitch. Right there it is. And that's what we're going to start this row with, that knit one below. And the next stitch will be, you guessed it, just a knit stitch. Knit one below. And a knit stitch. Knit below. Knit stitch. And we will continue that sequence all the way to the end of the row. for our final row of this pattern. It's row four. Row four is going to begin with just a regular knit stitch. And then again now we're going to do that lifted knit stitch again. Let's tilt it, find that upper strand, pull that out, and knit with our stitch. Back to knit. Lifted knit. Knit, lifted knit, and we will continue that till the end of the row. stitch pull it through there we go turn it over let's admire that pretty stitch isn't that pretty it's such a soft squishy stitch I just love it and you can be creative with this I mean find some other really fun projects to do with this stitch again if you want to follow along with the knitted uh, baby blanket that I made with this stitch the description will be below so I hope you found this helpful and enjoyed learning this new stitch with me. If so, please like and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification of new videos all about knitting tips and stitches like this new brioche honeycomb stitch and creative patterns. Thanks for watching. Happy knitting.